Hello, my name is Master Peter Brusso, and what you're watching is a trailer for our combat axe training and axe throwing and throwing other implements as well. So this is, of course, from our, one of our weekly trainings. The video quality isn't as good as I'd like to see it, but the lessons are absolutely superb, and I believe that you'll really enjoy watching this DVD set and increasing your ability to fight with a standard camp axe, which is a pretty cool idea uh, given these days and age. So let's watch a few of the clips from the Combat Axe DVD the, set. The thing that's really different about a tomahawk or a hatchet is when you go to strike, if you come up this way, you've got all that inertia load going up here that you've got to try to stop now and reverse direction. Much more efficient. Even that was poor English, it was much more efficient <laughs> to start from this position and allow the inertia down in one direction to make your strike. Now notice, I'm twice as fast. I'm just to target here. Here I'm up, stop, back, down, okay? Granted, I have twice the inertia, but how much inertia do you really need with a weapon like this to cleave off an arm? Not that much. So this whole idea of coming up here, it's just not good. I gain altitude on our first strike, and come straight down, right? I'm not putting load inertia like this back and forth. And I want to chop down, I want to come from the top straight down on, on his arm, okay? Versus a rotational strike we've been doing. So I'm here, boom. And that's, that's okay, you got lots of power, but try to keep your focus more in the middle. So I should just... Yes. This is an inertia weapon, right? Okay. It's gonna carry quickly. So I can just... Boom, um, exactly. To, yeah. Yes. Oh. Uh, now, how come you were so nice to him? Oh, you're going to screw up your technique by being that way. Okay, so you're here. Oh, God. Notice I'm turning. No. Okay, notice I turned, <laughs> but I kept him in close to me all the time. Okay, are we ready for the worst one? Yeah. All right, Master oh, Porter. Number 10. Do I need a weapon or no? No, you're just looking at the camera. Sentry takeout. Okay. It isn't a sentry takeout, it's more a take somebody take somebody prisoner type thing, okay? You want to come high across into here. And you got him. Okay, now I can walk him around anywhere I want, but look look at my point. My point is sitting right at the back of his ear, right there, buried in tight, buried inside of him, okay? Now that's nice, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's lovely, okay? Thank you, thank you. All right, give that a try. And there you are, because it's a brutal weapon. So. In this motion, that's what you want. You want to move in, slightly turn sideways, and come up underneath. I could have easily come up and I mean, had he bent over, or I'd done something to get him bent over, you can certainly come directly up in the if you've already done something. Like if she has it, now she doesn't. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Done. It's, it's basically okay. either injured wow. or lost. Sorry. <laughs> You're going to get both edges. Okay. Boom. You're entrenching to it. as we talked about earlier. <laughs> Look at headshots, you know. That's a serious hit. Right? I mean that would tend to ruin your day. Why is everybody standing back there? That would tend to ruin your day, wouldn't it? Okay. So when we're talking about striking and striking arms, of course this is the opposite direction, but you know you've got I just really bracked that up, but you've got some nice ability. All of our strikes we do, plus imagine our pushing, our our clearing and pushing type strikes with, with an entrenching tool. It's a natural. Now, I hate now like it's back up. Okay? It's not a problem. You know, so you're fighting. Okay? Pretty easy. Right? Now, when we, when we talked about uh, behind me, <laughs> when we're talking about fighting in here, that's a zero handed throw. Of it, and that's a tough thing to do on an axe. Because you've got to do it just right, and no turn throw on an axe is, a, is one of the more difficult ones to do. But that's how you the do The jewel it. is the full turn, and I think I'm a bit close for that, but you know, that's, that's a little bit jewel. further than you would throw a knife, which is the nice part of that whole type of, of axe throwing, you're a little further away. Okay, so let's play with this. I tell you what, let's end class and then we'll play with it. How about that? So as you can see, uh, standard camp axe can be quite the tool to learn to 
fight and defend yourself with very easily. It's obviously found in your garden implements and tools as well. But from a survival standpoint, it, these techniques are really important to learn how to uh, utilize them for your safety and your security. And you can see what a heck of a weapon this truly is. You don't see this kind of training very often. And yet it's a common standard tool that we have around the house and out in the camp when we go camping. So excellent tool. Great to learn how to use. I'm sure you'll enjoy this DVD set. The training, like I say, is superb. Quality of the video isn't as great as I'd like to have it. I'll apologize up front for that, but boy, you can see the quality of the training and the types of skill sets you're going to get by learning this DVD. Thank you very much. I'm Master Peter Brusso. This DVD is available at pdws.biz, the home of the Defenders. That's P is in Papa, D is in Delta, W is in Whiskey, S is in Sierra, dot B is in Bravo, I is in India, and Z is in Zulu. We'll see you on the web.